All right, so huge congratulations to the LA Lakers for winning their championship, obviously. Uh, uh, huge uh, uh, congratulations to LA, uh, LA fans, LA Laker fandom. Uh, to LeBron James winning his fourth championship. Uh, I mean, this has been a very tough year for everybody and a very tough year for the LA Lakers. You know, they lost Kobe Bryant earlier this year and what a way to finish off this season with a championship for the LA Lakers. So, listen, man, congratulations. You guys earned it. You deserved it. You fought through it. You guys were in the bubble and became out out of this thing became a champion. So, congratulations, you guys, for winning your NBA Finals uh, victory. So, with that being said, here's what I'm more excited about. Here's the thing I'm really excited about. I'm excited about Jimmy Butler. Why? Not because he suffered a loss. I'm excited because he's back in the gym already. Yes, 24 hours back in the gym after suffering a major loss. I've always had a rule. I've always had a rule for myself. I, I'm not an athlete. I'm a wannabe athlete. I'm an entrepreneur athlete. I'm an entrepreneur athlete combined together. I served eight years in the Marine Corps, never made it, made it to the pros, never made it to any form of organized sports to, to win any form of glorified championship. But um, I've always had a 24-hour rule. I've been competitive. I've transferred that competitive nature into business instead of sports. Um, I've always wanted to be an athlete somehow, some way, and in the field of business, I can't. And, and I remember sitting down with uh, 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 Ray Crockett, who uh, is right here, actually here in Dallas. I'm in the Valley Tatum Studios right now in Dallas, even though my hometown is in Chicago. And uh, he has got two Super Bowl rings. And one, one day we were comparing rings because he was wearing a Super Bowl ring. And I was wearing my um, uh, Super Bowl size type ring. When we won a championship, we were wearing these type of rings, these big Super Bowl rings too as well. And he's like, dude, I want to win that ring. I want to win that ring. I said, why do you want to win this ring? You won a Super Bowl twice. Every kid, every young man wants to win a Super Bowl ring that wants to play the game of football. Everybody wants to win that ring. He says, no, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. See, that ring, you can win for the rest of your life. These rings, you only win in your 20s and 30s. But that ring, cash flow ring, uh, winning your, champion, your financial championships, you can win that every year for the rest of your life. And when I'm thinking about Jimmy Butler and what he's doing right now and how he's dealing with the loss, he says, you know what? I'm going to suffer. I'm going to mourn it. I'm going to deal with it for 24 hours. But guess what I can control? I can't control that we lost. I can't control how I have an aptitude to get better the next day. So think about this. When you're dealing with uh, setbacks and failures and defeats in your life, uh, you, you, start, you set a budget, don't hit the budget. You set a financial goal, don't hit the goal. Uh, you, you have a savings and investing goal, and you don't hit the goal. Uh, you said, man, nothing's working right. I can't get there. I can't get there. Listen, that was my life for a good part until I figured out the rules in the money game, until I figured out the rules of business, until I figured out entrepreneurship. I had many failures and many setbacks. But guess what I kept doing? 24-hour rule, 24-hour rule, 24-hour rule. It might be a bad day today, okay? Maybe this is not the day to, to uh, unpack this and, and, and deal with this right now. It's a bad day. I suffered a loss today. I come back. The following day, 24 hours after purging it and, and not having to say, you know what? I'm going to deal with this right now. I'm going to start fresh today, brand new, 24 hours to deal with the loss. The flip side is true. 24 hours to relish in victory. 24 hours to marinate in the fruits of your labor. 24 hours to celebrate the people that you love and care about. So you know what? This is what we worked hard for. This, this is an awesome feeling, right? So 24 hours, win or loss. But when I see Jimmy Butler back in the gym after losing in the NBA Finals, after I see uh, Russell Wilson that one year when he lost in the Super Bowl, what did he do the next day? Got back into the, got back into the facility, studied the game tab where he messed up, where he went wrong. He was dealing with what I call the 24-hour rule. I'm dealing with a loss or a failure for 24 hours, but the next day, snap out of it and get back in the grind. And when I followed this rule, when I followed, and I see many other people following this rule, many of the peers and business partners I deal with, the best competitors, the best of the best, they deal with that rule too as well. Because lots of times in business, lots of times when you deal with your personal finance, your investment ideas, or your, your, your pursuits of being financially free, a lot of things don't go right. Phone calls, the people hang up on you, the people tell you no. Uh, a, a customer say yes, and then the next day they say no, they change your mind. You gotta say, you know what, I got it, no problem. Everybody has a right to change your mind. Everybody has a stupid factor towards them, right? But not you. You get better than that. You say, you know what? Let them make their decision, but I'm going to make the decision that I'm going to get better. I'm going to deal with this loss. I'm going to deal with it, okay? I can't control you, but here's what I can control. I can control me. I control my heart. I can control my attitude. I control my thinking. I can control my feelings. I can control my actions. And when we do all that, my results are that much more better. So when you're out there pursuing the desire, becoming your first generation cash flow millionaire, becoming an entrepreneur, being financially free, Take this inspiration from Jimmy Butler on how he's taking a loss. He's back in the gym. He's getting better. He wants to improve. His team's going to get better. The GM's going to rally around and find the right players to put around this piece in that team called Jimmy Butler and look 
to win a championship. And Pat Riley saying, you know what, this kid deserves it. I'm going to do my job as a GM. I'm going to do my job in my part and do his part and say, you know what, i got to give this guy some tools. So therefore, we can compete against the LeBron James and the Anthony Davises of the world. So with that being said, guys, go out there, go after your dreams, and consider following the 24-hour rule. That being said, I'm a money smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.